Hey you guys, today I'm going to be going over what water eject is on an iPhone, what it does, and how to get it. So if you have a modern Apple phone, you don't really need to worry as they're all fairly water resistant. The iPhone 15 series and most other recent iPhones come with an IP68 rating and Apple claims that they can be submerged in 6 meters of water for up to 30 minutes. But this doesn't mean that it's not good for your iPhone, especially in all of these little crevices and in the speakers, which is why the water eject feature can be super helpful to get liquids out of your iPhone. So water eject was made to push water out of your speakers. It essentially plays a low frequency tone um, and this vibrates and pushes the liquid outwards. This water eject though was introduced for Apple Watches and it hasn't officially come out yet for iPhones. So there's a few extra steps you have to take to actually use this feature on your iPhone. So in the case of iPhones, you can use um, Apple shortcuts on your iPhone to create this feature to work for you. If you've never used the shortcuts app before, it basically allows you to create quick automated functions that interact with other apps. Water Eject is a simple shortcut you can create to have your phone play a low frequency tone of about 165 hertz uh, for about 12 seconds. These sound waves get the speaker vibrating and it can push out any of the excess water in your speakers, just as they would on an Apple Watch. There's been no official testing done to see if this, this feature works on iPhones, but since the iPhone and the Apple Watch are so similar, there's no reason that it shouldn't work. It's a commonly recommended method to use whenever you get water in speakers. This also, fun fact, works on any speaker, not just iPhone or smartphone speakers. Feel free to try this on another speaker if it happens to get water in it. So because we're having to create this shortcut, um, you'll need iOS devices running iOS 12 or newer um, in order to use the shortcuts app. However, most of like I said, most of these new iPhones have um, pretty good water resistance. I think the iPhone 7 was the first one to come out with any water resistance at all. Uh, so if you have an iPhone 7 and anything newer, your phone should be good. But anything older, you don't want to get wet at all. So the first thing you want to do if you don't already have the app is download the shortcuts app. Newer iPhones will already have this automatically downloaded. And then the next thing you want to do is go to shortcuts gallery. This is going to be shortcutsgallery.com. We're just simply going to press search and it's going to bring us to this page here. We're going to scroll down to popular shortcuts and we're going to select water eject. Then we're going to get this shortcut here. It's going to bring us to our shortcuts page and we're simply going to add this shortcut into our gallery. So we have a couple ways to trigger this shortcut to work. We can either click on it here and press start. Then we are going to select the intensity level. The other way to trigger this is to use Siri. Hey Siri. Mm -hmm. Water eject. This is going to bring up this page here. In the case of other phones and Android phones where there's this shortcut feature doesn't exist, you can simply go onto YouTube and just search 165 hertz sound and play this on your phone and it's going to have the exact same effect. Um, it'll just take a couple more steps to get there. Alrighty, you guys, that's it for today's video. I hope that you found all this information helpful. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next one.